Now that I've finally Steins gated my way all the way out of Tennessee to Oklahoma, I thought it would be interesting to sort of explain what exactly were my problems with Tennessee. Why did I want to leave that state? And why was I so excited to get the fuck out of here, to get the fuck over here? And I think there's multiple reasons to it. Uh, one of the main ones just had to do with the people. Like, the people in Tennessee are very folkish and country, but in a very tribalistic way. They tend to think very much about this is what our group does, and so we are going to stick to that group. I think that's what a lot of people do, but they just do it to the extreme, where you cannot exist without fitting into their idea of what is socially acceptable. And I mean, you know, there's varying degrees of that everywhere, but for me, as the type of person that I am, what they deem socially acceptable was not going to work. Because what I deem socially acceptable is entirely different. And so, I didn't get along with a lot of those people very well, just because my beliefs about the world and my uh, beliefs about how things should work and about what I should do and how I should express myself are very different. So, I didn't like a lot of those people. Differences ideologically, differences culturally. And so, I wanted to get the fuck out of there because I didn't like those people very much. And also, just the scenery. Like, the scenery in Tennessee was so bad and like trying to go outside was just painful for me a lot of the time because there was nothing interesting out there. There was nothing cool to look at. Over here when I go outside, I got a McDonald's I can go to. I got, you know, all kinds of different stores and things that I can find. But when I was in Tennessee, there was just nothing. There was just nothing there. It was just trees. And they weren't even trees that looked cool. Like the types of trees that we had just looked boring. There was no good nature scenery. All of it just looked like shit. And so, I didn't like that aspect very much. It was mostly just the scenery, to be honest. Like, I'm, in a, I'm, I'm a very aestheticized person. If I'm going to live somewhere, I care a lot about how it looks. And so, if someone, or if, if someone, if somewhere does not look how I want it to, or what I find to be aesthetically pleasing, then I just inherently kind of hate the place as a whole and will be in a worse mood because it doesn't look like what I want it to look like. And so I go to places for the aesthetic. I go to places for how I feel that they are, uh, not just in terms of how they look, but also the overall atmosphere. What are the people like? What are the aesthetic of, you know, the culture and stuff like that? I think the aesthetic of the culture plays into the overall narrative of the trees and the buildings and stuff. The people leave their marks. They leave little aspects of themselves there. Even if they can't be seen immediately, that cultural identity is going to seep through. And so I think all of it kind of plays together. All of it kind of jumps around with each other at some point. It's just a matter of being able to have the eyes that can see it. And in my case, I just see so many of those details that once you start seeing all of them at nauseum, it starts to kind of blow your brain out if you're in a place that you don't like because you notice all of the details that you don't like and then the place ends up being worse. And in Tennessee, it just happened to be a place that I was noticing a lot of those details. And it was, you know, the place I grew up, it was the place I was always at, so I had a lot of time to spend there. I had a lot of time to ruminate on what exactly was wrong with it and what exactly I didn't like it for. And I had been to all the places, so I just found it boring after a while. You know, when you live in a place your entire life, when that's your home, you just become alienated by it because it's boring. Like. If you've always been in a place, why would I want to continue being there? Because there's nothing interesting anymore. I understand everything that's here. There's nothing new to learn. There's nothing new to see. So, why would I want to be there? That's one of the reasons why I've always been so into the idea of continually moving throughout your life. Because as you spend time in a place, eventually all of the intrigue it has goes away. Because now things have become familiar and there's nothing new exciting to chase. And so, as someone who wants to chase excitement and to chase new horizons, Oklahoma's looking pretty good for me. The climate is better, the scenery is better, people are better, much nicer. There's weed here, there's a lot of weed here, that's good. And uh, overall I think it's much better than 
than when I was getting in Tennessee. I just, just hated how isolated I was also in terms of like where the building was because I don't go outside that much, but I'd like to have places that I can go. Like I'd like to have, you know, a, a storefront or, or something like something that's open 24 hours. So at 2 a.m. I can just walk to the gas station and buy something. I find that entire act very aesthetic. I, I really like doing that. I don't really like walking around in the daytime as much just because there's a lot of cars and people out there. I actually tend to feel safer walking at night because the people aren't always going to be there. Sure, there are cars, but the cars are in limited number and they're not really getting up to anything nefarious. They're just sort of out there driving. It's very unlikely that anyone would actually stop to do anything. And if they did, I have a phone on me and people are threatened by having a phone. And so I doubt anything would happen. Because if a car goes by, I always pull out my phone and make it visible. So I doubt anything would happen. It's just you walk over to the kangaroo and you buy something. It's just that simple, you know. It's, it's so... I, I, I really like just being able to go outside of my house and just walk to somewhere at night time. You know, it's, it's really nice. And whereas in Tennessee, there were no stores that I could walk to. I just lived in the fucking woods, you know. I, I just, when I went outside, there were trees. It's just endless trees. The one store that you could go to in Indian Mound, the place I lived in, um, was not open 24 hours. It was only open until about 9 on most weekdays, so... I was asleep at 9 o'clock a lot of the time, you know, and then I would be up at 1 a.m. So the hours that I was actually awake, I couldn't actually go out and do anything in public, but now I can, you know. Now I can be out at nighttime and um, actually go outside, because when the sun is out, the sun just hurts my eyes. Like, it gives me a headache to be out in the sun, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to be out in the sun, so... Getting to actually have stuff that I can do out at night is really nice as well, and it's just, overall, like, when I was in Tennessee, there was just nothing for me to fucking do, so, it, over time, it just felt like I was trapped in this hellhole, this country, like, horrifying place with nothing around it, and I just felt so trapped culturally and, um, in terms of where I was living, so, I just felt the need to get out. I felt the need to, to leave, and I think that kind of led to me having, like, very, um, weird behaviors and just, like, being depressed and stuff, because I just felt trapped in where I had been living. And so when you feel trapped for so long, you eventually get to a breaking point where you just start acting insane, and I think... That was part of why I was making so many vlogs every single day when I was in that house. Like, in the time that we were about to move, I was just feeling trapped inside of that house because I was ready to leave. And so, because I was so bored inside of that house with nothing to do, what I had to do to satiate that boredom was to just constantly make vlogs to distract myself, or to constantly work on ideas for videos to distract myself, so... That was where I was at that point in time, and that's part of the reason why those videos were so edgy, was because my mind was on another state, and I was in a state that my mind was not on, and so I felt depressed. I felt the need to leave, and I couldn't do that yet, and that made me upset. So, if you combine all of those environmental factors of hatred and of of feeling trapped, it was easy to hate the place that I was in even more. It was easy to feel that there was no way out, you know. But luckily, we're in New Horizons now. We're in a new place, and there's barely anything in my room, but trust me, this place will be filled up with anime posters in no time, with wall scrolls and shit, and it'll be, uh, it'll be like my old, my good old home. There's a, a window here. That's a problem. We need to, you know, get this thing covered immediately because I hate having light coming into the room like that. It's aesthetic to look out the window sometimes, but just having light coming in the room from outside is, no, can't have that. When I came in here, the door was busted in too, so I can't even properly close my door and lock it and stuff. It's just a door. 
door was smashed in by the last people who were in here. But, uh, yeah. This is a good time. This is a good place. It's nice. Better than the last one. I got my computer set up on the floor, by the way, because I don't have I don't have a place to sit. So I've just been sitting Indian style on the floor. Like it's my it's my own home. I put it on a box and shit. We're we're doing it. This is better than Tennessee. There's an Oklahoma baby. It's Oklahoma art.